So, this is back from the ticker train. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what we're going to run everybody through here is a metabolic analysis. Uh, kind of based upon where your body goes from burning fats to carbs, kind of based around your heart rate training and to find that um, maximum aerobic function zone to see where that is. So ramp you up on a bike test, that stormtrooper looking thing kind of is going to measure heart rate, RER, and a bunch of other stuff in the actual sound. Cool. The trick to all of this is this isn't just like, hey, I'm just slowing down in the gym. There is a method to this madness. We're starting to, to try to figure out, is this more of a methodology or is this, a, is this me programming for people, right? But there's things that go into this that create healthy habits that improve these numbers. So the better you do with your sleep, the better you do with your fat intake, keep your refined carbohydrates down. Mm -hmm. All of those things, your stress levels, all of those things have a positive effect on your ability to stay in your zones and to do more work with less effort, right? You can see right in here, doing pretty good, you're holding it off. Right in there, right? So around 345, you hit an RER of 1.0. Essentially that's cell hyperventilation, right? You can see here on this graph and the, the relationship, this is total calories and fat calories, you're almost done with fat. In fact, you're, you're done, it's just, there's a little residue, right? Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, that's where you pull the most fat. Can you see how you pull in it there? That spike? Yep. Yeah. So that's like one, 106, 110. I'm giving you another spike there. Yeah. The problem with this spike is you start relying on sugar there. So how long would he have to train at 110 to bank it better? Man, we've seen it be as much a, a big change in as little as four weeks. Mm -hmm. um, we have a few athletes that it takes more like um, eight weeks, 12 weeks. Hey, this is a long-term goal. This is a, this is a year project. This isn't a, a six week get fit thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you can get them through that little bit and they'll come out and all of a sudden they'll, we had one gentleman, he was very like, oh man, he's a good athlete. I get it. And we're like, dude, slow down. What are you doing? Just slow down. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be, everything's gonna be fine, you know? Yeah. And next thing you know, he's putting up minute and a half grace times, you know, and feeling good. It's real training. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? This is real training. There's the difference between just fatigue-based training, which is what I was doing for years to myself and to my gym. And then there's like thought out, like progressive, like, hey, you're here. It's okay. Aerobically, you're in. Like for me, I'm aerobically really really shitty three two one go let's do this i can yeah i can go two things that are important to understand is this crossover you can see full sugar no fat right this is the crossover point here mm -hmm. okay when we push this to the right that's when you're just becoming really aerobically robust you can do a lot of work with very very little strain on your systems got it because this rer right here is about 0.86 this RER is 1.0. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yeah. So if I can get you all the way to here and you're only at 0.86, yeah. you can do more work. Yeah. When you're just going to leave the gym feeling great every day.